So this is a quick video for Tom. You asked whether you can change the columns in Google Ads. I'm gonna show you how you can do that. So I'm just in an account that I just use for demonstration purposes. So a couple of things to begin with. So I'm using Chrome as my browser. Uh, so one of the things that I can do, if I wanted to make things bigger, I can press the Command and Plus key on a Mac. I think it's a Shift and Plus on a Windows, and that will make it that the um, the resolution is bigger so you can actually see it. But obviously that then means that you, you've got less columns. So by default, uh, Google will actually um, sort of split split it so that the campaigns and the, the titles will always be visible. So if you have more campaigns than that, you'll always be able to see the column titles and you'll also be able to see the names of the campaigns. Um, so if you go back to 100%, if you wanted to, you can kind of go lower. So I quite often will go down to a, a lower resolution to give me that. Um, and that's, and you know, you might say, okay, okay that's fine. Um, what you can actually do is, depending on what type of campaigns you're running, so if you're running search campaigns, you may have a different set of columns because obviously things like um, video views and stuff like that won't be relevant. So what you can actually do is you can have different columns set up for different types of campaigns. So what you would do is you click modify columns and you can see I've got some columns set up here. So I've got one for basically all campaigns, search campaigns display. So if I switch across to search campaigns, um, and then I have columns. So I've got my search campaign columns. You'll see that these columns will probably stay the same because they're, they're pretty much the same thing. Um, but, but I could then say, right, well, that, that's my columns that I've got set up. Uh, what I can then do is I can actually uh, make them smaller. So I don't need to have a particularly big column for clicks. I can go, right, double click that, double click that, double click that. That obviously makes them more um, kind of viewable. Um, And what it'll do is it will also wrap any any uh, long titles that you might have. So so obviously that's that's one thing that you can kind of do to begin with. So you can make the, the columns smaller. But what you always end up with is the one at the end will always be kind of bigger as a result. So it, it'll try and spread to um, to kind of fit the width. So again, I always try and uh, add labels to campaigns and add groups and keywords to give me an idea as to whether you know, it's top keyword or whatever. So if I wanted to modify the columns, you just go in here, modify the columns, and you can see that you've got a, a, a huge amount of, uh, of um, standard fields that you can actually add as columns. Um, so all sorts of different things you can have there. What you can also do is you can actually add your own columns. So let, let's say for argument's sake, you wanted to split out your traffic by desktop and mobile, right? So you could do a, a new column. Um, you can then say, right, I want this to be desktop clicks. Um, and basically this will be a um, performance clicks and what you can then do is you can choose a device and you can choose computers so that will be basically um, you know it, it'll, it'll be a column that will appear just for um, desktop clicks and then you could probably do the same thing you could then then do mobile clicks um, do that performance clicks Choose the device, mobile phones, save. Um, do the same thing for tablet. Tablet clicks, performance clicks, device, tablet, click on save. So now obviously we've got here just normal clicks. If I wanted to have a different view, um, then I could actually um, you know, change it out. So if I wanted to put desktop clicks, then say tablet, then mobile, and I can drag those up to where I want them to appear. So I might go, okay, well, I'll put the desktop clicks there, remove the total clicks from there, tablet clicks, mobile clicks. Um, and then what I can do is I can save the column set and I could then make it, uh, you know, device specific traffic. Click on save and apply. So what will happen then is I've got three columns, desktop clicks, tablet clicks, mobile clicks, and I've now got a new set here, which is device specific traffic. So I wanted to kind of switch from the, the standard, which is this one, right? So that would just give me all clicks. And then if I wanted to, to view it by specific devices, I could then go, right, I'm gonna view desktop, tablet, mobile. And you could do the same thing for conversions, impressions, kind of whatever you want. I mean, clearly you could have a lot of columns, uh, what I tend to find is that it's much easier 
to have different sets of, of columns that will, will be viewed based on what you're actually trying to achieve with your campaigns. Uh, hopefully you found that video of benefit.